Our course today is entitled Non-Cancerous Oral Diseases that Every Dental Professional Should Know. Let's begin our course. Our first case is a 50-year-old female. She complains of blisters that erupt, burst, and then the painful red areas on her lips, gingiva, and mucosa. This is a chronic blistering disease. Here's our diagnosis. Pemphigus vulgaris. Vulgaris is Latin for common. Let's review the clinical features of Pemphigus vulgaris. It's an autoimmune disease. The first sign of the disease is often in the oral cavity. They are the first to show and the last to go. We have Nikolsky sign or gentle finger pressure on the mucosa or epithelium will cause a bullet to form. Close collaboration with a physician is required if systemic steroids and immunosuppressive drugs are used in treatment. And we'll talk about treatment in just a minute. The treatment for Pemphigus vulgaris includes topical and or systemic steroids as well as immunosuppressive drugs. Custom trays can be filled with liquid steroids and applied directly to the gingiva. Steroid rinses are also used in treatment. 